I oh. think my mic is on. It is, huh? Yeah, we're Welcome back, everybody. Everyone having a good time at FanFest so far? Yeah. I like to hear. I'm your host, Mike Janello. Welcome to the Newly Met game. It's our version of the Newly Wed game. And here are our teams. We're going to have the Young Guns against the World Series champs. How's that sound to you guys? Sound like fun? I will explain the rules in a second, but first, let's introduce our players. From the current Mets, give it up for Dom Smith and J.D. Davis. And then from those 1969 Miracle Mets, Art Shamsky and Andrew Now, if you're under the age of 25, you probably don't know what the newlywed game was. So we'll explain the rules to you. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know what the newlywed game is? A little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. Here's how it works. These guys will be teammates on each side. We're going to take turns, one teammate. So, for example, Dom will be wearing some noise-canceling headphones with music in them so he can't hear. We're going to ask JD three questions about Dom. Then we'll ask Dom those same questions. If they get the same answer matching, they win a point. We're going to play two halves because then the teammates will switch positions. And then whichever team has the most points at the end, whoever knows their teammate best, will be our winner today. Sounds fun, huh? What's the prizes? Uh, the prizes are you get all the, the applause and <laughs> adoration from everyone here at FanFest. All right, so are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Art, Ed, you guys feeling comfortable? You've known each other longer than these guys have. Do you think that gives you an advantage? Uh, no, actually, I roomed with uh, Ron Savota for seven years, you know, so oh. I, I know everything about him. Oh, well, too bad Ron's not here. Art, how does that make you feel uh, that uh, he, he Ron would be the ringer? with uh, Kenny Boswell. All right, well, we'll see how you guys do. How about you guys? You confident? How are you feeling about knowing each other? Yeah, we're all right. Good, all right we're, we're very subtle, man of few words, but he's going to deliver. All right, so our first round is going to be questions for Dom and Ed. So we're going to need some headphones for JD and Art. I have no idea what kind of music is in there. I hope it's something you guys like. All right, you guys ready? And then we're going to have uh, one of my assistants here writing down all the answers, and then we'll have them come up here so you guys can all have some accountability. All right? And make sure those are on. I don't want you cheating here. All right, Dom, first, first question for you. I'm ready. What is JD's biggest fear? Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, that's. <laughs> Can't ask him for help. That's oh, not how man. this game works. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably spiders, I guess. Okay. A fear of many people here. I mean, he, he's pretty tough, though, so he's probably not scared of spiders. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll find out. He's going to be scared of something. We're going to yeah. find out very soon. All right. Question for you, Ed. What would Art say was his greatest moment as a player? He had some, right? <laughs> <laughs> greatest moment was probably the, uh, the playoffs in uh, 1969 against Atlanta. I think he hit over 400. In the hit over 500, 500. 538 yeah, in the I, NLCS I that year. So. Yeah, yeah. No, give I it up for him. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch. Artie, Artie has a record. He hit four home runs in in a row, not in the same game, consecutive at bat. So I would say that would be individually his best accomplishment. Final answer. Four home runs in a row. All right, we're going to go with that one. Awesome. Next question, back to you, Dom. Oh. Who would JD say is the funniest guy in the clubhouse? Oh, me, of course. <laughs> now, if he gets that one wrong, then we're going to have problems after the game. All right. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we avoid those problems, yeah. but I like that answer. Good <laughs> no, stuff. What, what, what do you think makes you so funny? Um, I don't know. I just think that I'm just outgoing, and um, I feel like I could talk to anybody, make anybody laugh. I could relate on so many different aspects. So I think um, that uh, and the little kid in me brings the little kid out in everybody else. Love that. Any of you who have been talking to Dom today, I'm sure you can agree with that, right? We love this guy. Great personality. All right, back to you, Ed. Back in the day when you guys were playing, what did Art like to do the most in the off season? Um, in the off season, I think play golf. I, I think he's a golfer. All right, pretty common answer, right, for the ball club. Uh, were you ever a golf player? I played golf. I yeah. played at it. I wasn't very good All at right. it, but I played at That's it. That's kind of how golf goes for most of us, right? I understand that. All right, last question of this round for you, Dom. What road ballpark does JD love to play at the most? Perfect. Um, where has he? I'm going sabermetric. He's trying to think of the stats. Home runs at. Um, Roll ballpark. I would say, damn, uh, 
uh, Philly. All I'll right. say Philly. I'll, right down the, the turnpike. The ball travels close. there a lot. Um, I don't know his career numbers there, but I know that that's a fun ballpark to hit in, and uh, and we, we take care of them pretty well. So we like hitting there. All right, Citizens so Bank. Yeah, we love when you guys do well down there. Keep it up. Last one for you, Ed, this round. Who would Art say was the funniest player in the 1969 clubhouse? Probably Tug McGraw. He was crazy. Probably, uh, you got to believe Tug. Any, any good stories, any pranks or jokes? Family-friendly audience that you can tell from Tug? Well, you never knew what was going to come out of his mouth, so you're in trouble, you know, with all. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. All right. Got all our answers ready? All right, let's bring up the scorecards for our players. All right, JD, you can take the headphones off. All right, good. He couldn't hear me. See, that's how you know they're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, you can take them off. Great. Okay. Uh, hand, yeah, don't look at the cards. All right, first question now. So, JD, we're asking about you. And we asked Dom, what is your biggest fear? Uh, what did you sell them? <laughs> oh, man. I think I go spiders. Let's go. Let's go. That's great. Why are you so scared of them? Why aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You could switch seats. You want to do the hosting and the question asking. All right, so that's one point for Dom and JD. No pressure on you guys, but they're off to a great start. Uh, Art, what we asked Ed, what would Art say was his greatest moment as a player? So what was your greatest moment as a player? Well, being on the 69 Mets is a is, – but I would think uh, – I would think I hit four home runs in a row. Once. Oh, wow. Card. That is crazy. You have four in a row. Uh, oh, and you know, <laughs> Ed originally problem? said it was your performance in the 69 NLCS, then he changed it to that. So nice job, you two. All right, we're yeah. tied one to one. Mm. Next question. JD, who would you say is the funniest guy in the clubhouse? <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep that down. Dom. Huh? He says Dom. Dom said Dom. Hey, <laughs> two. Is, is oh, Dom actually you. funny, or does he just think he's funny? What am I doing with oh, this? He's pretty funny. He's hilarious. Uh, what, what about him makes I'm him annoying. so... I'm annoying. That's <laughs> what I am. <laughs> no, you have him. All right, well, let's switch it back over to you guys now. We are, we're, we're nailing it so far. Uh, Art, what did you like to do the most in the offseason? He actually knew the answer to that? Well, he gave an answer. I don't know if he knew it. <laughs> um, in the offseason, I think... Uh, Oh, that's a tough question. Eddie, give me a hint. No, <laughs> no. Hey, Al, come on. <laughs> okay. no, lucky you're wait, a Mets wait, legend. Wait, we let wait, you get wait, away wait. with this kind of stuff. I would say in the off season, <laughs> if it was a nice day, play golf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let it slide. Yeah, with an assist for Ed. Show us the card. All right, We're a little we older. We need some help here. <laughs> <laughs> and there, yep, golf. Nailed it. All right. Two for two, each of our sides. Last question of the first half of the game. JD, what road ballpark do you love to play in the most? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> probably go to Dodger Stadium. Ah, that's what I would. I, I think you know oh. from the reaction that Philly. that was not right. <laughs> do you not like playing in Philly? No. <laughs> no, no. What is it about Dodger Stadium you like so much? I grew up as a kid in Southern California, so I went to a lot of Dodger games, and so it's kind of surreal to be on the field, I would say, playing. And, you know, as a little kid growing up, seeing the games and just being, I don't know, part of it. It's kind of cool. And now you're there. Do you know which stadiums, like how you do? Do you remember stats or where you <laughs> hit well, or is it just more of a vibe and a feeling? Uh, no, not really. I do know what stadiums I do really, really bad in, oh, but... <laughs> We'll avoid those. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, your most hits in any park outside of a home park down in Washington, nine hits in six games. So let's keep that up this year. Right. And your most home runs in any road ballpark, Yankee Stadium. So let's keep that up too, all right? Yeah, I got one. All right, over to you guys. A chance to take the lead here. They messed up their last question. Art, who was the funniest player in the 1969 clubhouse? I would say the funniest player was Tug McGraw. Yeah. Three for three. <laughs> Look at these guys. Let the show us the cards. Let so we go, got buddy. Wow, they're off <laughs> hey, to a that great was an start. Easy question. 
That was All right. Well, hey, you guys got to believe because you're down 3-2 oh. at halftime. Yes. Now we're going to switch, all right? So now the headphones are going to go on Ed and on Dom, and now we're going to ask JD <laughs> and Art some for? questions <laughs> and see how these go. Uh, was the music good, by the way? Did perfect. you like what was played? Oh, I love that music. It was great. Yeah, we'll get you a little that. playlist. We'll oh get you on God. Spotify like after this. It's great. All right. Dom locked and loaded. And Ed, good to go. All right. We'll start with you, JD. Who would Dom say was his favorite baseball player growing up? <laughs> um, <sighs> that's tough. Dom's, Dom's said, feeling it. He's he got the vibes going, twice. the beats going. He said, I'm going to go with Griffey. I think he said Griffey a couple times. All right, yeah. Ken Griffey yeah, Jr. 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 I, yeah, Jr. We've got to be specific here <laughs> for the rules of the game. All right, so he goes with the kid. Ken Griffey Jr., Hall of Famer, not a bad pick. Over to this side, Art, who would Ed say was the toughest player on the 1969 Mets? That would be, I think we both agree that it would be Jerry Kuzman. Ooze. Yeah. What made him so tough? He, uh, he was a guy that was no nonsense on the mound. He was a guy that uh, if one of our players would get knocked down or get thrown at, uh, he was right there to retaliate. And um, uh, he was, on top of being a great pitcher, um, he never got the credit he really deserved because he was behind Seaver. But, but uh, Jerry was just this hard-nosed uh, go on the mound and, you know, battle as much as anybody, but I would say Kuzma. Giving him a whole weekend to honor him this summer. So make sure you guys are coming out for that in June. It's going to yeah, be great for a guy for who 100% deserves it. All right, great answer. All right, back to you, J.D. What does Dom like to splurge on, spend that extra cash on? What's his, what's his favorite thing to splurge mm. on? I mean, you can go two ways. Two ways? All right, what are you Either, debating between? I mean, what are you on the fence with? He loves his clothes. He loves his shoes. He loves his jewelry. Um, I'm going to go shoes. All right, I like that. Shoes. Uh, he has, oh, he has more shoes than anybody on the team. Are you, are you jealous of his collection? Because I mean, you brought your Jordans, so you seem like a shoe guy a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he's got a little, he got plenty of shoes. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. All right, sounds good. Shoes it is. I mean, a worthy cause to splurge on. I dig it. All right, back to you, Art. What's the one thing Ed would say he hates to do? What he hates to do. Um. What does he hate to do? What do you hate to do, Ed? <laughs> uh, Ed either really can't hear him or he's playing along very well. He hates to do. Um, can I get a clue? <laughs> I don't have to, I don't know the answer. Somebody give me a clue. Only Ed knows the answer. Um, what he hates to do. I think he uh, hates eating vegetables. All right, Ed is not a vegetable guy. You said that with so much confidence, Art. Like, you know that's the right answer. That was definitely a guess. <laughs> All right, the door seems open for you, JD, so make sure to get this one right now. Dom has switched to number two for this season. He's graciously given up his number 22 to Rick Porcello, newcomer to the team. Mm -hmm. But back when Dom wore number 22, why did he choose that number? Oh. I like how Dom just sees JD looking at him every single time. He's like, yep, oh, got my man, beats. I have no idea. Um, maybe he was a number 11. He wanted to double it up. I don't know. I really don't know. All right. Seems like a long shot of an answer, but really we'll know. take it. He was 11 and wanted to double it up. I don't feel too good about that. You don't no, feel too good all. about that one either, right? All. <laughs> all right. These were getting harder, I think, this second half. Last one for you, Art. What is Ed's all-time favorite TV show? All-time favorite TV shows. Just one, just one. Oh. If you had to pick one favorite show. Everyone loves Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. All right, I dig it. <laughs> Local show. He was a Mets fan in that show, right? In real life, too, Ray Romano, or he was a, a newspaper writer for it. All right, we'll go with that. Did you guys watch a lot of TV on the road back in 69 or together? Never together, but... Uh. Yeah, but TV was the thing then. No Netflix back then, so you had to do something, yeah. right? All right, so that's our answer, and that wraps up the second half for this part of the questioning. Yeah, give him a round of applause. Those are some tough questions. <laughs> now we're going to see just how well they did. All right, headphones off. 
There we go. And the score was three to two. <laughs> Team 1969 heading into our final round. And if there is a no, tie, by yeah. the way, we do have one tiebreaker question. That's going to be a sudden death extra innings walk off scenario. All right. It, oh, you got you knew that one already. All right. So you're good to go. So we're going to start with you guys. Dom, who was your favorite baseball player growing up? I can answer that. Yeah, that would have been easy. I got easy questions, you know. Hey, I don't know about that. I mean, you guys are the ones winning right now. I mean, it's not easy because I've told them several different players, so it could be different. Um, my and I, I've read some interviews that have asked you this question, and there seem to be some different answers every time. Exactly. So if you're going to pick one right now, who would it be? Come on. Um, hey, no, no cheating, go JB. With Oh, man, I'm sweating up here. <laughs> All right, uh, Barry Bonds. Oh, oh it's close. Not Barry Bonds, but with the kid, with Ken Griffey oh, Jr. Oh. I did say Barry, though. The did, kid. Did you, did you like Ken Griffey Jr., though, growing up? I did. Yeah. I loved it. He had, one, in my opinion, one of the smoothest, prettiest left-handed swings in Beautiful the history swing. of the game. Um, but that's why I said I told him several different players. So it could have been him. It could have been, like I said, Barry. It could have, even as a younger kid, I was a uh, fan of Robinson Cano, so it could have even been him, too. So, um, How yeah. cool is that, let me ask you, to now play with a guy that when you were growing up was such an idol for you? That's got to be pretty cool. It was pretty surreal. Uh, last year, especially in spring training, um, going to camp, and like I said, that was somebody I idolized. I loved his swing. It was so smooth, and that's somebody I wanted to pat my swing after. Um, so it, it was kind of surreal the first, first month in camp, and then after that, he – he warmed up and took me under his wing and helped me out to this day. So, Great stuff. Love to hear it. Do not love that you got that one wrong, though, because you guys are still behind. Yeah. But you've got a chance still to make up some ground. But now over to you guys looking to take a commanding lead. Next question. Where am I leaving off here? All right. Who would Ed say was the toughest player on the 1969 Mets? That was our question. So, Ed, what do you say? Who was the toughest player on that team? Um... I might have to say, you know, let's see, the toughest. They fought all the time if, uh, <laughs> between Cleon and, and Tommy Agee. Let me see. Uh, or, you know, a surprise guy could be Don Caldwell. He was tough. But uh, I'll say um, Tommy Agee. Uh, let's bring up the card. No. I think you can hear from the groans of the fans. Tommy Agee was not the answer. He went with Kuzman, with Jerry Kuzman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was. You say that. What, what made Kuz tough in your mind? Tough. Uh, Kuz, he would, would, was an intimidator. If the other ball club, you know, would, would try to knock us down or, or get us into a fight, the one guy we wanted on the mound was Jerry Kuzman. And obviously, you're probably talking about the Ron Santo in incident where he hit him. It would have hit him right between the eyes, but he put his hand up and broke his wrist. But uh, that stopped all the knockdowns with the Chicago Cubs. There you but go. Jerry, Jerry, he's 100% wrong. I'm a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm wrong. Ed getting fiery. I like it. All right, the score remains 3-2. We've got just a couple minutes that. left, so we're going to run through these uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, next one. Dom, what do you love to splurge on? Food? Oh, these guys are oh, struggling. Boy, you close? He what? said shoes. Oh. Is that true or no? I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to think out of his not as mind. Much, not as much as food, So I me, I mean, well, me and him, we, 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 we go to lunch almost before every game. So we will go to nice restaurants and stuff. That's why I said food. Well, you were wrong. I <laughs> you should have said shoes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to you guys now. Um, what's, Ed, one thing that you hate to do? I have no idea. What do I hate to do? Take fielding practice. <laughs> <laughs> Even uh, to this day? Or this was just back in the day? No. Uh, so I, is that your answer, or are you just giving you know, us a little, let little me just, just Let me just see. What do I hate to do? Um, if he can't answer it, how in the heck was I going to answer that? <laughs> Art, you got me there. I have no reply to that. What I, hate to do. I hate to go to the movies. Most of the time, my wife wants me to go to the movies, <laughs> and it's those Lifetime and all this other stuff, you know? <laughs> Yeah, probably go to the movies. The big headline from Mets Fan Fest, Ed Crane Pool hates going to the movies. Uh, no, Art had no idea. He said it was eating your vegetables that you hate to do. 
<laughs> I, don't I don't live with them. Come on. <laughs> do you like vegetables? I do like vegetables, right. by the way. <laughs> All right. So we're still, it's still three to two, right? That's the score we're keeping right now? Yeah. Oh. All right. So a chance for you guys to tie it up and really put the pressure on them. Yeah, no pressure, pressure on you. <laughs> now, Dom, you switched to number two for this season. You've oh. given up 22 for Rick Porcello yeah. this year. But when you wore 22, what was the reason? Why did you pick that number? The real reason I picked it um, was because in high school, I dated a girl who played softball, and she wore 22. My favorite number was seven at the time. So when I got into high school, a senior on the team had seven, and he wasn't giving up his number because he was a senior on the team. So I chose my girlfriend's who wore 22. And that's how it JD started. JD loves that story. But and that's definitely not what he, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was <laughs> Number one, give it up for the romantic, Dom Smith. How about that? <laughs> Number two, so you're not confident JD knows that? No, no. not at no. JD, that, that's well, something well, that I haven't shared with anybody, story. but wow, you guys You guys today. got breaking news today. That was breaking a scoop news. for the first time ever. Dom, thank you for sharing. Yeah. This is a safe space, man. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, JD, why don't you tell him what you, th what you thought the reason was. He thought you wore number 11 and you wanted to double, double it up. <laughs> we might have worn on default. We won on default. <laughs> You're right. Your girlfriend's number? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing, though, that Tom. We appreciate it. All right, right so you guys, you've wrapped it up already because this is the last Back question. And you're still, yeah, you guys yeah. are just, you're coasting. But just for fun, indulge us, Ed. Last question. What's your all-time favorite TV show? Oh, uh, my all time. We know you don't like movies. Do you like TV? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I like, uh, I like Western movies. Let me see. But, uh, <laughs> no, but I'll tell you, my favorite show was, I used to watch it during the afternoon, Sanford and Son. Sanford <laughs> <laughs> and Son, a classic, an all-timer. That, uh, that was from back in the day. Art picked a, more, a little bit more of a recent show. A uh, recent show, I'll tell you what, Shark okay. Tank. I like Art Shark Tank. Oh, you know, I, I like to get involved in, in businesses and stuff like that, so... You know, I fantasize that I'm going to... Do, do you have a Shark Tank idea? You're going to only share it with all of your closest friends in yeah, the room that's here. All right. Shark Tank. I'll say Shark Tank. All right, well, let's <laughs> find out what Art thought. He thought it was Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, yeah, we were stars on that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> and the biggest star was Art. They named the dog after him, Chamsky. That's it. Beautiful. Well, we've learned so much about all of you guys. <laughs> I know more about you up. than you know me. <laughs> I've done... Now I know these things. But you still won. So guys, all give right. it up for our winning team of Art and Ed. All right. But also give it up, guys. You guys are awesome sports. Thank you so much for Dom and JD. And good luck this season. We appreciate it. was definitely it. my fault. <laughs> Guys, Fan Fest continues in just a couple moments. We talked about one of the new guys, Rick Porcello. He, Michael Walker, Dylan Batantes will be up here with Marty Saul Castro to meet the new guys. So don't go anywhere. Fan Fest continues right after this. Thank you, guys. Okay. Great.